The only reason I brought that up, if you go over there south of Highway US 24 in the western part of the state, and you look down, up and down, you drive up and down those county roads, and there is a whole other set of transmission lines, and miles and miles of it. Yeah, because you got to get it somewhere. Yeah, that's their highway. At one of the meetings I was to, they said that they had not approached anybody about selling electricity. It was asked if they had approached I and M or whatever, and this and that. And they said no, we have not approached anybody about selling electricity. <laughs> Mr. Doster talked about that. I only ever met with the man one time, one time, and this was February of this year. This was this was very late in the game. Uh, he, I guess he did essentially say. They didn't have any contract at that time, but but AEP would be there. That it, it would basically depend on who's who's. Great who's yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's where we are on that. I I I, I my personal opinion is that I don't think you're ever going to no. worry about abatements there. So, <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? Yeah, uh, okay, the golf cart ordinance will take effect seven one of twelve. So, um, that, that had to be changed by the state, so we could work with that. We are working on our, our 2013 health care package, and I'm going to tell you right, right now it appears there will be a, an increase because we have had some pretty bad claim experience in the last year. Pretty bad, pretty astronomical claim experience. So. Hey Don, um, before yep. you go on, yep. can you tell me a little bit about the golf court ordinance? I know you guys had some issues with that. So now the state has changed it to make you guys be able to change it countywide, or? Well, we had to. We could be tougher. I, I, I think. I think as an example. Okay. I think as an example, our ordinance didn't specify how many could ride in a golf cart, and and I think the states said up to five, but you have to have a seat for I everybody. See. Okay, so, but in other words, because I get this a lot around the lakes, and I see yes, the golf carts yes. all over the place. Yeah, yes. And uh, they they will be able, to, they will be as long as they meet those conditions, they'll be legally allowed to drive the golf carts on the. Well, they got to pay us our their fifty bucks. Right flights. after that, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that's on any county road. They can't still can't drive them on the state highway, can they? That is correct. You cannot okay. drive it on state highway. Like and there's turn signals and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that, I'm I'm not. The golf cart ordinance wasn't a huge deal to me, so I just wanted to make sure we met the letter of the law. And, and uh, I think George and Paul are, are I mean, they, they have did. to be intimate with it because they, they're the ones that just got hammered about we want golf carts. So, yeah. You got one? I got a meal, so mine's a little. Okay, this is not a done deal, but the, this is kind of exciting news for those of you. Um, well, Mr. Western is going to love what I'm about to say. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> we are this close to striking a deal with LabCorp, our blood draw people, our free blood draw people, and the blood draws will take place in this building. And so I can't tell you much more about it right now because it's not done, but, but it's looking really good. Will it be so, at the clinic by chance? It would be at the clinic by chance. Okay. That's the obvious place. Yeah. No, it's going to be in the assessor's <laughs> office. You get your buggy plane. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Cap Councilman Bayman's question is correct, too. The, I can only explain it this way, Jim. He, yes, but he only wants his patients. Yeah. So, if your patient, Dr. Hannes, yep, you can still go to Hannes' office. Any of your patient, Dr. Hannes, you can go to his office. But uh, the way I understand, he only wants his patients. So, I don't blame him. It's a busy, it's a busy office. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited that um, we, we can do this and uh, absolutely will not cost the county anything. Um, the LabCorp provides all the supplies. They, co they provide the courier to come get it and everything. We have the opportunity, and I think this is down the road, let's don't go there right now. We have the opportunity to make money off of this. If we're interested in doing it for the general public in Whitley County, LabCorp will pay us to do it. So I don't think we want to go there right now. Right now the big deal is to keep, keep our employees, everybody on our insurance plan, keep them from having to drive to Fort Wayne to get free labs. So. Um, we have hired 
a new employee to take. She can't take Amy's place, but we have a new employee. <laughs> so, do you want to tell them about our new employee? Uh, it's Pam Smith. She interviewed actually the same time I did a few years back, and um, she works at Re Railcraft. She's starting June twentieth, um, and she's pretty anxious to start. So, I mean, she came back for a second interview, so that says something. Um, Smith Wise, for those of you who've been around a while, uh, remember Peanut Smith. This would be his daughter-in-law. This is Kent's wife. So, yeah, pretty excited. That man, her her credentials were fantastic. Uh, while we're there, I'm just gonna I'm gonna bump down to another to to a new policy that will be coming out. Amy and Pam are gonna work together. They're gonna create this policy. Um, quite frankly. The county, when it comes to hiring practices, we've had very loose hiring practices. Um, Amy might pick up a Columbia City paper. Amy, our HR person, could pick up a Columbia City paper and see an ad that a department head is, has, is going to hire an employee. That should never happen. Absolutely should never, ever happen. HR is here for a reason. It's HR's job to hire the employee with the help of the department head. But still, it's HR's job to hire employee, not department heads. Now, it's just a matter if we've done it for years, we're gonna to have to break that mold. But that's, that will be a policy that's forthcoming, that all hiring and firing will be done through the HR, not by the department head, but with the department head's um, uh, cooperation. Uh, Pitney Bowes is putting in new postage machines, two of them, one in the courthouse and one there in this building. Um, there's no additional cost. We, we don't, we're not going to pay any more than we ever have. However, there will be some savings because right now the clerk's office, because of the weight of different, they, at least once or twice a day the clerk's office has to walk to the post office, weigh the mail so they know how much postage it takes because there's various things that go in there. That will all be done and, and postage metered now by, the, by this machine saving a, a one person going to the post office. So that's, I don't know when that's going to start, but probably in the next couple of weeks or so. The commissioners are going to work on the, on the commissioner budget starting tomorrow. Um, one of the things the commissioners are, are going to do is, is what you do. If you notice, you look at the commissioner's agenda, it has times. You be here at this time. You be here at this time. You don't have that. That's the better one. We, uh, you have excessively long commissioner meetings because you're now you have to sit and wait. Well, we can't talk till two thirty, so now you got to sit and wait and you know fit, twiddle your thumb. That's that's ridiculous. So it, George Trump and I were at a commissioner caucus uh, last week and found out we're the only ones around that assign times. We used to. Don't yeah, because you do, you twiddle your thumbs a lot. And, um, so we will be doing away with the times. Now, that said, if one of our employees needs, you know, needs to be heard, we, we feel like we want to push that employee in ahead because we're paying, <laughs> we're paying them to do their job. So um, the, the agenda, every agenda has the same thing on it. This agenda is subject to change without notice. We do that by law. But we will be dropping the times on our on our agendas, and I guess that's, that's all I have. Well, yeah, I'd like for you. Um, Amy will talk about the vision program. A lot of you guys.